wonders of the industrial world. Brooklyn Bridge The Brooklyn Bridge is a hybrid cable state or suspension bridge in New York City, and is one of the oldest bridges of either type in the United States. Completed in 1883, it connects the boroughs of Manhattan and Brooklyn by spanning the East River. It has a main span of 1,595.5 feet or 486.3 m and was the first steel wire suspension bridge constructed. It was originally referred to as the New York and Brooklyn Bridge and as the East River Bridge, but it was later dubbed the Brooklyn Bridge, a name coming from an earlier January 25, 1867, letter to the editor of the Brooklyn Daily Eagle and formally so named by the city government in 1915. Since its opening, it has become an icon of New York City and was designated a National Historic Landmark in 1964, and a National Historic Civil Engineering Landmark in 1972. Although the Brooklyn Bridge is technically a suspension bridge, it uses a hybrid cable state slash suspension bridge design. The towers are built of limestone, granite, and Rosendale cement. The limestone was quarried at the Clark Quarry in Essex County, New York. The granite blocks were quarried and shaped on Vinyl Haven Island, Maine, under a contract with the Bodwell Granite Company, and delivered from Maine to New York by schooner. The bridge was built with numerous passageways and compartments in its anchorages. New York City rented out the large vaults under the bridge's Manhattan anchorage in order to fund the bridge. Opened in 1876, the vaults were used to store wine as they were always at 60 degrees Fahrenheit or 16 degrees Celsius. This was called the Blue Grotto because of a shrine to the Virgin Mary next to an opening at the entrance. When New York visited one of the cellars about 102 years later, in 1978, it discovered, on the wall, a fading inscription reading, Who loveth not wine, women and song, he remaineth a fool his whole life long. SS Great Eastern SS Great Eastern was an iron sailing steamship designed by Isambard Kingdom Brunel, and built by J. Scott Russell and Co. at Millwall on the River Thames, London. She was by far the largest ship ever built at the time of her 1858 launch, and had the capacity to carry 4,000 passengers from England to Australia without refueling. Bell Rock Lighthouse The Bell Rock Lighthouse off the coast of Angus, Scotland, is the world's oldest surviving sea-washed lighthouse. It was built between 1807 and 1810 by Robert Stevenson on the Bell Rock, also known as Inch Cape, in the North Sea, 11 miles east of the Firth of Tay. Standing 35 meters tall, its light is visible from 35 statute miles inland. London Sewerage System The London Sewerage System is part of the water infrastructure serving London, England. The modern system was developed during the late 19th century, and as London has grown the system has been expanded. It is currently owned and operated by Thames Water and serves almost all of Greater London. First Transcontinental Railroad The First Transcontinental Railroad was a 1,9 12-mile contiguous railroad line, constructed between 1,863 and 1,869 that connected the existing Eastern U.S. Rail Network at Omaha, Nebraska, or Council Bluffs. Iowa with the Pacific Coast at the Oakland Long Wharf on San Francisco Bay. The rail line was built by three private companies over public lands provided by extensive U.S. land grants. Panama Canal The Panama Canal is an artificial 48-mile waterway in Panama that connects the Atlantic Ocean with the Pacific Ocean. The canal cuts across the Isthmus of Panama and is a key conduit for international maritime trade. There are locks at each end to lift ships up to Gatun Lake, 
an artificial lake created to reduce the amount of excavation work required for the canal, 26 meters above sea level, and then lower the ships at the other end. Hoover Dam Hoover Dam, once known as Boulder Dam, is a concrete arch gravity dam in the Black Canyon of the Colorado River, on the border between the U.S. states of Nevada and Arizona. It was constructed between 1931 and 1936 during the Great Depression and was dedicated on September 30, 1935, by President Franklin D. Roosevelt. Its construction was the result of a massive effort involving thousands of workers, and cost over 100 lives. The dam was controversially named after President Herbert Hoover. Thank you for watching.